Ant-Man and the Wasp issue 4 sees the quantum power roll over Scott and Nadia as both think each other have now been imbued with the negative energy of the realm. Nadia tells her friend Dalen that she and Scott are beginning to lose their humanity thanks to being subatomic. Nadia begins talking about quarks and protons as Scott continues to try and contact her with his backward speaking. Dalen says to change Scott back, Nadia might just need to touch him since their states would cancel each other out. Before Nadia does touch Scott however, she says it could also cause a mutual annihilation and kill everything in sight. Dalen says that earlier Nadia mentioned that she had a vision of something awful happening and if this is it, but Nadia says it isn't, meaning touching Scott will be fine. Nadia eventually touches Scott and a huge explosion happens, and later the three heroes find themselves back on a normal sized earth. The team is happy they are home and Nadia is fascinated at how their journey through the quantum realm brought them back to earth. Dalen is overwhelmed by the new things on earth and goes on a small rampage, fascinated by everything and unintentionally scaring nearby people. Scott shrinks him and says that he will look after him as he goes to find Cassie while Nadia returns home. Nadia arrives at Pym Labs and everything seems the same, until she finds her father, Hank Pym, is alive and well. Scott arrives at Cassie's school and runs into a group of people who all seem to be his raging fans. Cassie arrives and Scott hopes that he hasn't missed her birthday, and luckily he hasn't, but their reunion is put on hold as Dalen scares off more people accidentally. Scott tells him to stop scaring people and picks up one of the scared people's wallets, seeing some money that has Ant-Man's face on it. Soon he also sees a number plate that says they are in Atlantia. Scott immediately realises that something is wrong and heads to Nadia, grabbing Dalen and heading to the lab. Nadia meanwhile is filling her father in on everything he's missed as Scott arrives, saying this place isn't Earth and Hank isn't the real Hank and he knows Nadia is smarter than him and she would have figured it out before him. She did, but Nadia continued to talk with Hank so that he will love her. Scott consoles Nadia, saying fathers don't need to be impressed and they love you for who you are. Scott tells her that this is some illusion, but Nadia still thinks this could be real. Suddenly dozens of ghostly Hank Pims arrive, and Dalen says that this could be a byproduct of Scott and Nadia's entanglement, and that Hank is a sentient lone particle that just wants to entangle with one of the heroes. As Hank tries to grab at the heroes, Dalen says that this is the thing that Nadia saw in her vision, and at first she doesn't think so, but then realises that it might be. Dalen turns to Hank and offers to join with him in exchange for letting Scott and Nadia go. Dalen says that he never can go home and doing this he can give his friends a gift like they gave him. Not wasting any time, the heroes grow really big, breaking through some type of barrier that takes them into space, where they find a shrunken down earth. Ant-Man and the Wasp issue 4 was an exciting penultimate issue that threw a real curveball at the heroes as they make their way to a new home. Nadia getting time with her father, or what she thought was her father was really quite well done and had the correct kind of emotional beats to it. One thing I wasn't too keen on was a lot of the science talk which kind of led to huge word bubbles kind of overtaking the panels of Javi Garon's fantastic art. Other than that I really enjoyed this adventure and I'm looking forward to the ending of it. I'm gonna give this issue an 8 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks for watching my newest video. If you enjoyed it, you might also like to check out my other reviews here on my channel. You can also follow me on various social media platforms like Twitter by searching Matt underscore FOS, or even join the Comic Multiverse Discord server and chat with other comic book fans, including myself and Joel from Cape Joel. Want cheap comics and trades? Head over to the book depository with the link in the description to get the cheapest trades and comics comics around, along with free shipping anywhere in the world. Until next time, this has been Matt of the Fortress of Solitude, thank you so much for watching.